Melanie here with Eyes on the Game here at the United Center for UFC 238 Fight Week being joined by the one and only Mr. Frankie Edgar. Now, uh, I do know that you've helped Marlon Moraes prepare for his fight against Henry Cejudo. What do you think about how he looks leading up to it? Yeah, I think Marlon looks phenomenal. Um, this camp was one of his best camps ever. His focus was tremendous, and he's ready to go get this belt. Now, what do you think is a critical factor that he needs to do in there to beat Henry? I just think he has to control the pace of the fight, you know, and uh, and make, make, make Henry pay when he makes mistakes. Now, what did you think of Henry's win over TJ? Yeah, it was, you know, it was kind of tough to take, you know, it was a pretty quick fight, quick finish, so it was really tough to take anything from it. But, uh, I mean, he put away Dillshaw, who's a stud, so, yeah, that's uh, hats off to him. With that being said, though, how do you see this fight playing out in general? Like stoppage, decision? Yeah, I think we're going to get a stoppage, uh, you know, second, third round. Second, third round. And also, you're fighting in the main event, UFC 240, for the featherweight title. You're the former UFC lightweight champion. What would winning the featherweight title mean for you? Yeah, you know, just uh, it'll mean that all this work I put into these years w wasn't wasted on, uh, on anything. You know, it was, uh, it'll all be worth it. Now, have you been preparing any way different than your fights previous? No, nah, it's doing the same stuff. You know, I've been at this for a while. I kind of got to figure it out. Got my coaches dialed in, and uh, we'll be ready uh, June 20 or July 27th. What do you think about about a guy like Max, who's obviously a great striker? Max is stud. Uh, the pace he brings is, is tremendous, and uh, yeah, he just keeps coming. So you know, I'm gonna have my hands full, but I'm looking forward to it. That's what I want. I want to fight the best guys. What about his fight against uh, Dustin Poirier? Yeah, it was an epic fight. One of the best fights I've seen. You know, especially at the lighter weights. Uh, yeah, I just think the, the size difference was played a little factor. Dustin was a little bit thicker and was able to kind of keep Max at bay some. And lastly, because I know it is happening over the summer, summer break, right? For Your kids are out of school? Yes, yes. They'll be out of school in a couple weeks, so uh, hands will be full. So they'll be there? Uh, my one son wants to go, my other son maybe. My daughter will probably keep home. Yeah. And uh, what would you like to let all your fans know who will be tuning in to not only watch Marlon's fight, but your fight as well? Yeah, you know, thanks for the support. Marlon's going to get it done Saturday and July 27th, back-to-back.